क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन द ग्रेटेस्ट कोफिशियंट इन द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई बाई टू टू होल पावर इलेवन इज क्वेश्चन इज आस्क ग्रेटेस्ट कोफिशियंट नॉट ग्रेटेस्ट बायनोमिल कोफिशियंट सो जस्ट फाइंड आउट ग्रेटेस्ट कोफिशियंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो आर इज इक्वल टू एन प्लस वन मॉड एक्स डिवाइड बाई मॉड एक्स प्लस मॉड ए वेन ए प्लस एक्स टू दी पावर एन इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ग्रेटेस्ट टर्म एट x equal to any number, but here question is asking greatest coefficient. So we will put x and y as one. So just calculate r n plus one that is twelve into x. X is three y by two divided by four x plus three y by two. Just substitute x and y as one. So you will get six into three divided by 4 plus 3 by 2. So you are getting 36 divided by 11. So r is not an integer. So your greatest coefficient would be g i of r plus 1. So this is t 3 plus 1. So 11 c 3. 4 to the power 11 minus 3 and 3 by 2 power 3. Because x and y are one here. Just calculate it. This is 11 c 3. 2 to the power this is your 8 16 3 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3 that is equal to 11 c 3 2 to the power 13 into 3 to the power 3 so option number 2 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 62 the number of natural numbers between 1 and 10 to the power 5 whose sum of digits is 11 is so we need one digit number two digit number three digit number four digit number and up to five digit number whose sum of digit is 11 so just do it smartly how sum of all five digits should be 11 in which x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 can be 0 or up to 9 so xi is moving from 0 to 9 so we need coefficient of x to the power 11 in 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube up to x to the power 9 to whole power 5 so just calculate it this is your 1 minus x to the power 10 divide by 1 minus x to whole power 5 just simplify it 1 minus x to the power 10 to whole power 5 1 minus x to the power minus 5 we need coefficient of x to the power 11 in just Open it. One minus five c one x to the power ten plus five c two x to the power twenty and so on. Multiply with one minus x to the power minus five. So we need coefficient of x to the power eleven. So one into one minus x to the power minus five minus five c one. We have x to the power ten here. So coefficient of x to the power one in. 1 minus x to the power minus 5, in which we need coefficient of x to the power 11. So 1 into coefficient of x to the power 11 is 5 plus 11 minus 1 c 11 minus 5 into coefficient of x is plus 5. Just calculate it. It is your 15 c 4 minus 25. This calculated 15c4 is 1365 minus 25, so this is equal to 1340. So option number four is your correct answer. Now move on next question. Question number 63. The sum of series one squared divided by two factorial plus two squared divided by three factorial plus three squared divided by four factorial plus four squared divided by five factorial up to infinite terms is. So you can see. In denominator, you have two factorial, three factorial, four factorial. So just start your question e to the power x. This is one plus x plus x square divided by two factorial, x cube divided by three factorial, x to the power four divided by four factorial, and x to the power five divided by five factorial, and so on. Just divide your whole equation by x. So you will get e to the power x divided by x is equal to one by x. Plus one plus x divided by two factorial, x square divided by three factorial, x to the power cube divided by four factorial, and x to the power four divided by five factorial, and so on. Now just differentiate your given equation. It is 
x e to the power x minus e to the power x divided by x square is equal to minus 1 upon x square differentiation of 1 is 0 plus differentiation of x is 1 by 2 factorial plus 2x divided by 3 factorial plus 3x square divided by 4 factorial 4x cube divided by 5 factorial and so on now again multiply your whole equation by x so you will get x e to the power x minus e to the power x divided by x is equal to minus 1 by x plus x divided by 2 factorial plus 2x square divided by 3 factorial plus 3x cube divided by 4 factorial plus 4x to the power 4 divided by 5 factorial and so on now again differentiate your equation so here you will get is equal to 1 by x square plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 2 square into x divided by 3 factorial plus 3 square x square divided by 4 factorial plus 4 square into x to the power 3 divided by 5 factorial and so on just substitute x equal to 1 in this equation and you will get 1 e plus e minus e minus e minus e divided by 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 2 square by 3 factorial plus 3 square by 4 factorial plus 4 square by 5 factorial and so on so see your required value is this that is equal to e minus 1 so your correct answer is e minus 1 option number 2 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 64 if a r is greater than 1 for r equal to 1 2 3 up to n then minimum value of given expression is so question is saying a r is greater than 1 then log of a r is always positive so for given expression we can apply amgm inequality so am is greater than or equal to gm so just apply log of a2 a1 plus log of a3 a2 plus log of a4 a3 and so on log of a n a n minus 1 plus log of a1 a n divide by n greater than or equal to multiplication log a2 a1 log a3 a2 dot 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 log a n a n minus 1 log a 1 into a n to whole power 1 by n so see in RHS part log a 2 a 1 can be written as log of a 2 with some base it can be e or anything with same base in denominator you can write log a 1 multiply similarly log a 3 a 2 you can return log a 3 divide by log a 2 so you can see easily all the numbers will be cancelled so you will get 1 to the power 1 by n here so log a2 a1 plus log a3 a2 plus log a4 a3 up to log a1 a n is greater than or equal to n so minimum value of given expression is n so option number 3 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 65 the sum of series 1 upon 1 into 2 plus 1 upon 3 into 2 cube plus 1 upon 5 into 2 to the power 5 plus 1 upon 7 into 2 to the power 7 up to infinite terms is so this is very specific question when you have log 1 plus x minus log 1 minus x so what you get just write down x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 divided by 4 plus x to the power 5 by 5 and so on and minus of log 1 minus x is plus x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 plus x to the power 4 by 4 plus x to the power 5 by 5 plus and so on so you see when you add both the equation e1 power would be cancelled so you will get 2 times x plus x cube by 3 plus x to the power 5 by 5 and similarly x to the power 7 divided by 7 and so on so see according to your question in denominator you have 
1 into 2, 3 into 2 to the power 3. So, just substitute here x is equal to 1 by 2. So, what will you get? log 1 plus 1 by 2 3 by 2 minus log 1 minus 1 by 2 that is half is equal to 2 times 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cube into 3 plus 1 by 2 to the power 5 into 5 plus 1 by 2 to the power 7 into 7 and so on. See this is the same expression. So, its value is log 3 by 2 multiply 1 by 2 here. So, you are getting 1 by 2 log of 3. So, sum of series is 1 by 2 ln 3. So, your option number 4 is your correct answer. Now, move on next question. Mm -hmm.